loves welcome to 2024 i am so glad we made it and i'm so glad that you guys are back here supporting my channel i love you so much and i'm so grateful for all of you and i just wanted to officially say happy new year happy 2024 i wish you guys nothing but the best may all your dreams and wishes and desires come true i pray blessings over all your lives i thought there was no better way to start off the new year than with a vision board i am going to take you through a step by step tutorial on how i create my vision boards i normally create two versions I create a desktop version that um, serves as a wallpaper for my laptop and I also create a mobile version that I use as a wallpaper for my cell phone. I love the one on my cell phone more because I feel like I see it more because your phone is always in your hand, you're always unlocking your phone so every time I pick up my phone I see my vision board and it is so refreshing so I thought you know what let's do this together guys so without further ado let us get into this video I just want to start off by saying thank God for Canva this is the platform that I use to create my vision boards my thumbnails or anything that I need to create so basically in the search bar I'm typing in vision board the nice thing about Canva is that it has so many available templates for all sorts of things that you want to create. So these are some of the examples that um, Canva has. These are all the templates that are available to you. Some of the templates are only for the paid version of Canva and some of the templates are available even on the free version. So I'm just showing you guys a few examples of what canva has so this is the template that i am picking it was the fourth one and this is what it looks like it's really nice and i feel like this makes it so much easier when you've already got a base to work on and you've already got the foundation it really just does make everything easier so I'm just changing around the text as well guys canva is very user friendly you'll see you can edit everything so easily i've just edited the text um, i wanted to write vision board in big so i'm deleting the smaller vision board because i'm not going to need that and then i'm obviously going to edit the year and make it 2024. guys now it's time for the fun part I'm basically now going to be changing all the pictures so basically what I like to do beforehand is create a folder in my photos um, I've called that folder vision board 2024 it's a new album that I just created after downloading all the images that I want to use on my vision board Trust me guys, it makes it so much easier if you just put all the pictures together in one album, then you can just keep going back to the same album because Canva gives you access to your photo gallery. So here I am picking the first pic. You can literally just click on the replace button to replace the existing picture on the vision board template unless you want to play around with the existing picture sizes maybe you want to resize it you want to make it smaller you want to make it bigger there's so much you can do on canva guys and the best part is that it is literally so easy so my advice to you is to just play around with it as much as possible the more you play around with it the more features you find What I think is really helpful is if you use the copy and paste feature, if you know you're going to be using pictures that are more or less the same size, 
I sort of just take one picture, I copy and paste it several times, and then I just click replace on every picture and insert the image that I want to use from my camera roll. So once again, the thing about a vision board is that you need to just keep playing around with it until it feels right to you. Playing around with the images, placing them in different places, you keep replacing, you keep moving them around until you feel like you have the kind of images that you really like and you feel like the whole layout makes sense to you. So as you can see, I'm resizing the pictures from the template a lot because I want them to be a size that makes sense to me. And also I have quite a number of pictures that I want to add to this vision board. And I feel like the template pictures on this template are much bigger than I need them to be. So I'm just gonna keep resizing, shifting things around until it makes sense to me. So guys, just for record's sake, I do want to state that this is just an example of a vision board. This is not my actual vision board. I wouldn't really share that publicly because I feel like a vision board is very sacred and it's very private. But I just collected some images on the internet that I thought were interesting and that I knew that the girlies could resonate with, like eating well. Um, taking care of yourself, traveling, etc, etc. For those in relationships, maybe getting engaged and stuff like that. So yeah, this is not my vision board, guys. I just want to make that clear. It's just an example of what your vision board can look like. so now there are these two very big pictures right at the top 
I wasn't happy with their sizing so I definitely decided that I'm going to resize both of them and try to do it in a creative type of overlaying way as you're about to see. And once again, I'm copy pasting the same image four times just to make my life easier and then just replacing each image with the picture that I want to use and resizing it accordingly. So give me all of you in exchange for me. Just give me all of you in exchange for me. For me. For real, Charlie. So here I wanted to make one big background image so as you can see I've pasted this image um, in quite a large size and then I'm going to replace it with the background image that I want to use and then I'm simply just going to send that image backwards so that it is behind the other two images.
Okay, so here we are guys. Our vision board is pretty much almost complete. I've added all the images that I wanted to use. I'm sure you saw I ended up not using some of the images, but it is what it is. It's okay. I think um, you get the gist of my vision board and what I wanted it to look like. You will have that situation sometimes where you actually have some leftover images and then you'll contemplate whether you want to remove other pictures and add the ones that you didn't use be that as it may the vision board looks good it's appealing it makes sense so another thing that i did was remove um, the text that was there on the template i felt like i didn't need it at all so now i am saving my vision board i'm so excited it looks so good so i clicked on download i'm just gonna change it to save as a jpeg i don't think it makes a difference whether you save it as a png or a jpeg but i don't know i just feel like a jpeg works better i don't know whatever it is what it is um so yeah this is the vision board basically saving to my device now and we are Done. Read my horoscope, gotta keep my Libra balance. I'm a star that lit Earth in October. Cape Town for some closure. Nine times out of so now this is the fun part. I've gotten out of Canva. I'm now back on my camera roll. Here's the vision board. This is how beautiful it is. This is what it looks like. So now I'm going to use it as a wallpaper. And then I'm going to adjust it accordingly to fit the dimensions of my home screen for my phone. And this is basically what it looks like. Isn't it cute, guys? Every single chain is a win, it's a medal, cause we blessed. Blessed, we blessed, we blessed, we blessed, we blessed, we blessed, blessed. Yes. Bless we bless we bless we bless we bless we bless yeah I went up next level about to take off and dunk on the and I've just unlocked my phone and voila this is what my home screen looks like I hope you found this video helpful and I do hope that you guys will also be creating your vision boards if you haven't already I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video Bye.